What is up, YouTubers? It's me, Andrew, Drew Ponage, and yes, it is Pokemon Crystal Version! <clears throat> okay, my bad. Okay, I was trying to stay quiet, but um, first of all, what I wanted to tell you guys was um, this is one of my favorite games of all time. I am not lying. I love this game so fucking much. It's so badass, and um, I just thought it would be really good to take you guys. On a journey with me and Crystal Version to, as my new game, to as my new playthrough. So, hold on, I can't really decide which frame I want to use. Oh, no. I'll use three. Okay. So, first of all, obviously, you have to click new game. And right here, the biggest the shiz, the, yeah, the decision of, the, uh, of this walkthrough is I'm going to be playing as the boy. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, so anyways, if you did see me click girl, I am going to be playing this game walkthrough as a girl. Just because, you know, I've always wanted to play as the girl, but i never actually done that. And I'm just going to name it Drew because, uh, hold on, it is 10 o'clock in the morning. Because I woke up early for you guys, and yes, 10 o'clock is considered uh, early in the morning for a Saturday morning. After you've been going to school all week long. So I am uh, off of work today, so that's good. So, I'm going to be making the Crystal Version walkthrough for you guys. So, this should be really fucking fun. I love this game so much. And, um, yeah. I'm, uh, they got everything set up. The quality's looking great. And hopefully this walkthrough will turn out really, really good. I'm really excited for this. And let's do it. Especially since I'll pick the girl. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call it Drew. I'm not, I don't really care if it's, if it's a guy name, but that's who I am. And I am playing this game, and I really just want to play as uh, the blue-headed, the blue long-headed girl was always really cool to play as, and uh, it just looks more fun. I mean, if you're watching my walkthrough and I'm the girl, wouldn't that be more entertaining than watching my walkthrough as the guy? Yeah, pretty much. All right, so we're walking around. Turn on the PC. Uh, there's no item in there. Wow. So I guess I didn't put that in here. All right. Well, we're gonna go downstairs, and your mama is gonna talk to you. Your mama's gonna talk to you. So she's like, oh, true. Our neighbor, Professor Anne, was looking for you. Wow, I'm totally talking like I'm British. He said he wanted you to do something for him. Oh, I almost forgot your poker gear is back from the repair shop. Here you go. Yep, mom, I got my poker gear. Yep, got it. Let's get the fuck out of here. I need to go get some Pokemon. All right. It is definitely Saturday, because Saturday is the coolest day of the week. Uh, I, I don't think it's a day like savings time. All right, all right, all right, we got this. Yes, I know how to use the phone. I always thought this was pretty aggravating in the start of the game, but it's it's legit because it doesn't take that long. And in Crystal version, you do have someone else in the house, uh, which is new. Um, yeah, he uh, she uh helps. She's new in Crystal. That's all I know. There's the bitch behind. Uh, I don't. I've never actually known if that was a girl or a guy. So. You can leave a comment below saying if that's a girl or a guy. Um, I will reply and you will be a boss. Okay, so we're going to walk in here and Professor Elm has a little desk right here. This is also new in Crystal. That's why I like Crystal. It's just like, God, it's, it's fucking Crystal version. It's so much better than Gold and Silver. And I'm dead serious. It is better. And hopefully, in this walkthrough, I can catch um, uh, Reiku. And say and say that it'll be a long ass time. <laughs> I'll take that. All right, so he gets an email, and um, he says I have to go to Mr. Pokemon because he's got an egg, and it's obviously a the first egg you'll ever get in a Pokemon game. But I'm not too really worried about that. I also remember when I was playing this game as a young kid, I used to always go around and. And get the Pokemon that hatch into like little baby Pokemon because I, I used to like Smoochum, Magby, Elekid. Alright. Anyways, enough of my chit chat. We're gonna pick a starter Pokemon. Um, I don't want Totodile because there's too many water Pokemon in this game that are really good. And. Ah, uh, such and such. Okay, Cyndaquil is really cool. Um, I actually might take that one. Uh, pretty sure I will. I'm not, I want, I want to see what Chikorita looks like. Alright, so Chikorita. I used to always like Chikorita. Uh, well, not really Chikorita and Bayleaf. I used to love freaking Meganium. 
The Ganium was badass. For Alligator, it was always usually what everybody chooses because it gets Ice Punch and shit like that. But guys, I'm gonna have to go with Cyndaquil. I've only played with Cyndaquil very few times, and uh, he's probably the uh, second hardest to beat the game. Because if you get Totodile, it's definitely the easiest way to win. Um, same, and uh, then Chicory is the toughest, and uh, Cyndaquil is the second hardest. Because the, based on the gym leaders, they're like that. Because the only thing I fucking remember is like, damn, guys, um, when you get to the, the gym leader and the third city, Goldenrod City, Goldenrod City, uh, that milk tank knows fucking rollout, and if you don't have, like, a Pokemon that resists it, um, Cyndaquil and whatever else you have is fucked. Alright, so, Cyndaquil, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna call him right now, um, I guess I'll, I'll nickname him later. I'll, I'll nickname him after all. Because I'm always like that. I usually think of nicknames when I'm on my own. Not even recording. And then I come back and just nickname him that. So, that's what's up. I'm probably going to nickname him after my friends um, from YouTube. So, that would actually make it really, really tight. Alright, so there's a Poke, Poke Center right there. Uh, just go up to the machine. And heal up. And that's all good. So, right now he gives uh, you a potion. That's where you get your first potion. That's probably why they didn't give you one on the computer, because they found out in first gen everybody was stealing it. <laughs> so anyways, you're going to want to walk out, and we have an awesome looking Cyndaquil. Oh my god. Oops, I hit pack. Okay. Cyndaquil, and it has a berry. Alright, and also in, in a forgotten crystal version, the Pokemon Move. It was the first game that they made. Pokemon Move, and it's so cool, because it was like the only one that they did that. <laughs> Alright. So run through the grass, walking through the grass, can't run in this game, because there's no running shoes, which does kind of suck ass. Alright, so, we're going to go up right here, uh, and there's a random Pokemon battle, hold on. Hopefully, I can cut out all the wild Pokemon battles, because that would be really good, if I have a walkthrough with no wild Pokemon battles, and then all the, um... Trainer battles, I will just have like, I'll speed it up like with the, with the, uh, the space bar, I'll speed it up and, uh, blah, blah, blah. uh, it'll look fine. Like tackle, 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 tackle. And Cyndaquil got, got smoke spray. And also Hopip is pretty cool that you can find it in the first route, it's just, Hopip is not, uh, like, it, it's, it's okay, it's fast as hell when you get Jump Bluff, and I actually like what Jump Bluff looks like. But I think I'm going to go with Cyndaquil, catch like a flying type Pokemon, and then go ahead. Because I can't really catch a Pokemon that you have to do stuff for. Like, I know that a lot of people would catch Growlithe in this game when they got further on as their fire type. But the thing is about Growlithe is that uh, you need a Firestone to evolve Growlithe into Arcanine. And that is not, you won't even see a Firestone until like fucking way way later in the game. Alright, so, we got two berries, and we got two, three potions. Anyways, keep walking this way, and you will get into Cherry Grove City. Also, they uh, had a little uh, city named on the bottom of the screen, which I also thought was really cool. So, we're gonna go in the Pokemon Center and heal up our Pokemon, because that way if we die, I don't have to start all the way back in uh, New Bart Town, which is... And by the way, guys, this game is going to take a fucking long time to finish. Long time. Alright. So, over there is this the water of uh, Cherry Grove City. And I always thought it was kind of cool, because like, I always wish that you could surf like way out into like, the ocean from here, but you can't. It's just like guarded off by walls. And a fat dude on a rock. Alright. So, coming up this way. Uh, no more wild Pokemon battles. Well, all right, Cyndaquil. All right, it's so tempting, peer pressure. Oh, got it. All right, so we got an antidote. And I, you can't go up here because they have their little eradicate fighting. Watch, I'll do it, I'll do it, listen.
I always like that. And then he's like, tackle. Red and Tata, huge tackle! Yeah, kick ass! Oh, fuck, yeah. Red and Tata, huge tackle. Alright, so what you're gonna wanna do is go into this house, and Professor Elm said that you have to visit Mr. Pokemon, and look at that shit. Bam. In the very beginning of Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, you get to meet Professor Oak, yep, back when, from Red and Blue version, when Professor Oak looked, um, always like a boss. Like, Professor Oak was like the best professor ever, I think. Yeah. And Professor Oak has his own little theme song. <laughs> And he's all like, yeah, you got a rare Pokemon from Professor Elm. Yep, I'm like, yeah, I did, yep. So, basically the point of coming here was to get the Pokedex. Uh, and that was it. Alright, so what he does give you is I think he, um, he heals up your Pokemon and I think you get... No, you don't. You don't get the Pokemon egg yet. You get. You get the Poke, the Poke, uh, the Pokedex, and then Professor Elm calls you and is like, "Yo, somebody just stole everything." So we have to run all the way back. I'm gonna ignore that tree for now because I think it's a poison cure berry, and I don't need that because I have antidote. Um, and you don't get poison very often unless you fight Weedles, which isn't until like the Azalea Forest. So that's a long ways away. So over here, we're gonna grab this berry. This is our third berry that we have. Excuse me. And if you don't hear, this is the berry master's house, I think. And he's like, yo, I'll share a berry with you. So we can walk out of there. All I want right now is the bike. So I can go everywhere, but you don't get the bike until way later in the game. Alright, so right here, you're going to want to make sure your Pokemon is fully healed, and BAM! Exclamation point. I'm going to whip you! You're such a wimp! I'm going to kick your ass! Trainer battle, first trainer battle, let's do this shit. Alright, so question mark, question mark, question mark, what's the battle? What a bitch! She picked Togadal. Cynical's better, huh? Alright, so we're gonna go for Lear just so Tackle does more. And, uh, yeah. See, I knew I knew it. I knew it was gonna go for Lear. Alright, so we're gonna go for Tackle because I have potions. And I don't think she does. Oh, Scratch. Damn, Scratch, though. So Alright, half, halfway. Good. Good. We need my berry next turn. Tackle again. Scratch, and I can outspeed. What the fuck? Critical hit my ass. Oh, that's, that's, that is gay. Alright, so I live with 2 HP. I grow to level 8 like a boss, and Cyndaquil just whoop your ass! Oh, yes! Put it in your face! Alright. I'm gonna be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer, and you can't do shit about it. So anyways, we're gonna walk around with this old man after we defeated that trainer. And he's all like, yo, you're a rookie trainer, right? So, I'm gonna follow him around, and I think this is gonna be the last thing we do. So he's like, this is a Pokemon Center, we're gonna be doing that. And uh, this is Pokemon Mart, you know, you can buy stuff in there. And he's like, yo, this is a route. This is where you go. This is the way out. Unless you're gonna be trapped in Cherry Grove City forever, and you don't have to go out there. And the city, the sea, um, and there, that boy right there that's just chilling there. Alright, so coming over here, and he's like, this is my house. Thanks for your company. Let me give you a small gift, and he gives you the map card that goes on your Poke Gear, and that allows you to see. That allows you to see your okay all right 
Oh, I thought he, I thought he gave you something else. I thought he gave me a town map, but I was, I was I'm stupid, and that's the map card. The town map is the map card, Andrew. All right, so we're gonna go in here and do a quick heal on my Pokemon because he is about to die. I don't feel like wasting a potion just yet. Hurry up, Nurse Joy! Give me my Pokemon back. All right, so she heals our Pokemon. And that is where we are going to end this playthrough, episode, walkthrough, whatever you want to call it. Let's play. Okay, we're going to end part one, guys, right here in Route 29. And see you guys next time. All I'm doing right now is going to go give Professor Oak a visit, and we will do that in part two. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I really hope you liked this walkthrough. hope I get lots of views on it. Not necessarily, just as long as people are enjoying it and uh, giving me good feedback. I will make more. This is going to be a great walkthrough. I can see it coming, and I really enjoy it. So until next time, I am Drew Ponage. I'm about to save the game. And peace out, bitches. I just totally stole his cue. All right, bye, guys.